Suppose we have the following question to answer. Given a normal distribution with mean 10 and standard deviation 1.7, what is the probability of obtaining a value of 12 or greater? Draw a picture to represent this idea. The calculator can answer such questions. So we're going to go under second and there's. We're going to highlight draw and we're going to select the very first command, shade norm. Now the shade norm command is structured as follows. You type in the lower bound where you want to start your shading, the upper bound where you want it to stop, then the mean of the normal de density, and then the standard deviation of the normal density. So we're going to go ahead and start by typing in our information. We're going to start shading at 12, and we're going to stop shading as far out as we can, and the calculators can store a number 1e to the 99 power. This is the largest number the calculator can store. Then the mean is 10 and the standard deviation is 1.7. Now we need to set up our window. The shade norm command will not do this automatically. Using what we know about normal distributions, the center of the window should be about the center of the curve, in this case the mean, which is 10. We also know from the empirical rule that within three standard deviations we have about 99.7 percent of the data. So the x-min is going to be the mean minus three times the standard deviation. And the x-max is going to be the mean plus three times that standard deviation. The height of the curve may pose a little bit of a problem. Computing the height of this curve can be a complicated endeavor, but we're going to let the normal PDF command do it for us. And what this does is that the normal PDF evaluated at the mean is going to give us the highest point on the curve, and this is what we're going to use to set up our Y max. Since the, there will be information published about the results, you know, how much area is under the curve, we need to save some room at the bottom of the window as well so we can see this information and the curve clearly. So I'm going to set the Y min to be negative 0.3. So we'll go under window. We'll go ahead and start typing in our information using the empirical rule. So now we have the bottom part. Now we're getting ready to do the top part. And the scaling, it's typical to set up the scaling to match the standard deviation for normal densities. Again, the y min is negative 0.3. Now I'm going to use this very first command under second vars, the normal PDF command, to tell me the height of my curve. So I'm going to evaluate this at the mean. So I'm going to say normal PDF, the value of 10, with a mean of 10, and a standard deviation of 1.7. I'll set up my Y scaling to be 1 tenth. Now that we have our window set up, we can go ahead and run the shade norm command. And in order to do this, we're going to return to the home screen. So we'll go ahead and hit second mode. We'll rerun this command. And here we see the normal curve and the information published below. The area, this 0.1197, is the shaded area over here. This represents the probability under, this, under these conditions to see uh, a score of 12 or greater. And again, it says, where did I start shading? The low value. Where did I stop shading? The up value, if you will, at uh, as big a number the calculator can store. And this is how you can use the shade norm command on the TI-8384 calculators.